Hey folks, John Smith, Central Beekeeper Supply out here in the bee yard with my lovely bride, Corinne. Today we're uh, doing some Varroa mite cleanups for fall. I've got the honey off of the majority of the bees. I got a few boxes, as you can tell, left to pull, but they'll go in the deep freeze and they'll keep. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is the new Varroxan strips. Um, I think there's been a lot of discussion on how these work, how they can be used. It's, it's super simple. Uh, they give you a diagram of how many frames of bees. So the FOB, they give you the count number of strips for each colony. As an overall, I've chosen, I'm gonna put three strips per colony. My bees that I leave over winter are knocked down to a deep and a mid. Um, these are oxalic acid drenched cardboard strips i believe they have a glycerin for for their holding uh capabilities uh, you know as well as i do if you've ever used the hop guard three the bees are going to chew these cardboard strips um but the first thing that they get concerned with is what's in our hive so they're going to come in contact with the strip therefore making it a contact kill for the varroa um I started out to say people have broke boxes and laid the strips across between the, the brood and the, and the uh, upper honey compartment. Um, you, they tell you to fold them and put them over the brood frames. These strips are long enough that they will take, drop in through the mid and as well as to the deep. So what I have chosen to do, and I'm gonna show you is work that strip down and let it go into the deep box, fold the top portion of the strip across the frame and let it hang under the, the adjacent frame. And when I put my inner covers back on, if, if the bees move that loose, the inner cover should catch it. And I think between the propolising and whatnot, I'll be able to come back and pull these um, 42 to 56 day treatment. So let me put my veil on and I'll demonstrate one for you. You know, don't, when you're using anything like this, any of these treatments really, um, wear a chemical glove of some kind. Uh, don't touch your eyes and, and eat a sandwich after you've handled this. Try not to get it, try not to get it on your skin. Um, it's still oxalic acid, so it's, it's always better safe than sorry. You're, you're also going to notice I don't have the smoker out here with me. Um, these bees have been in a nectar flow for about a week now. They're uh, carrying honey, so they're, they're in pretty happy shape. They've already sealed up. Most of them have really propolised up for winter. Although it's still hot here. I think yes. it's 90 today. It's supposed to be up to 90 today. and the Bees are actually in great shape, but, but the queens are, from what I can tell, are brooding up and uh, creating a lot of bees to get to the fall. no queen excluder on here, I always give that inner cover a quick look to make sure she's not on it. I can I can really tell from frame to frame down through here, here's white comb. These are working all of the, the frames. That's a, a good box of bees. Like I said, I'm not doing an inspection, I'm doing an overall treatment here so we're going through and there's probably some brood in this top box I know there'll be some brood in the bottom so right, I'm going to target the two middle frames as my separation and I'm going to work a strip yeah see I'm going through brood right there I can see cap brood up here after the bees the bees start moving they start getting out of out of your way 
All I'm gonna do now is just fold this, fold this strip over and tuck it in here under this other one, like so. Okay. I guess I already used two hands. I'm gonna tuck that in right there. Then I'm gonna work another one down two frames apart. Gonna go down right here. There's nothing uh, real calculated about this. Tuck that there and smash that into the wax. We're gonna drop them one more and we're gonna do it right over here in the center. Yep, there's brood here as well. So I'm catching the bees coming out with the Varroa as well as these adult bees. As you see me push on that, it can be the glycerin, that can be the oxalic. But I, I really don't think that it's gonna get any easier for a treatment than this. Oxalic tips can be used with honey supers on. I always choose not to do that just because we do sell our honey and I don't ever want a honey super on, empty or otherwise during the treatment. I'm not saying it's good, bad or indifferent, but that's just the way we choose to do it. All right, that's, uh, that's literally how easy this tre treatment can be applied. Um, I, I hope you've gained some knowledge from this. I, I really think that this will be a great treatment. I do know that you're going to see a benefit just from the extended time that the strip will be in the hive. Think that propolis mat's working? <laughs> Huh? I think. You need some propolis? You go with your, your pollen in the AM? Maybe. Alright, I, I got talking about something else as usual there for just a brief moment. You're gonna, I think the oxalic acid has always been a good treatment. I also think that the oxalic acid has been, forgive me for saying this, but misused a lot of times therefore not getting a really good Varroa treatment worked in. And it, you know, folks, it's important if you gotta do this, it's important that we that we do it right and nobody's making you do Varroa treatments. But I will say, your odds will go way up in your overwinter success when these bees are clean of the I know that it's hot right now. I know that hunting season is, is upon us. This really won't take you very long to do these treatments. Set your reminder on your phone. Come back to them. Pull the remainders of the strips out. Um, take care of your bees. That's the number one deal. Get them cleaned up. A lot of white wax, a lot of good capped honey in this box. This box didn't have a lot going for it when I pulled its honey super off. Um, bees have been in a great flow recently. And honestly, the fall flow here in central Arkansas, excuse me, is just getting cranked up. Our goldenrod hadn't hit, but the Cereza Les Badiza has. So I think good things to come. The bees are going to be in great shape on the flow. We're going to clean them up for growing. and we'll have bees in the spring to make more bees, make more honey. You just kind of fish that down through there. Get it in a good spot. 
Try not to get these any closer than than two frames. Can frame box is a little more a little more challenging. Problem is you don't know how wide they've grown. Yep, I'm catching that top bar on that deep box. Okay, let's do something different. need a super long half to make away. <laughs> Alright girls, step side, step side. All right. Super, super messy girls. Just as a, just as another off thought as I'm as I'm scraping all this propolis off and thinking about man. There's enough there. I could have harvested that. I would not do that now because this hive tool has been exposed to this treatment as well as my hands. So all that will go in the trash. So all you nail folks out there, remember that when you go to do this. And Keep everything clean till you get your propolis. You can stick that mat in the freezer and then that propolis comes off a lot easier. It becomes brittle. This was, I think I've mentioned this before. This was one of the demo hives that a nail sent me to use, experiment, and play with, and of course it become coarse, and all that's fine and neither here nor there, but I will say that they have actually improved, and if it was possible, they have improved the covers, the propolis mats, I should say by quite a lot. They're a lot stiffer, more rigid now, easier to use. These first ones are a little bit soft. All right, I think that you see how easy this can be and I think that uh, it's a good idea to treat bees. We treat every fall with some form of something. This is the, the newest that's out. Uh, it's available at the store as well. If you get a chance to call me or come by the store and we'll talk about it, uh, I hope this has shown you that there's probably not a wrong way as long as these strips are getting down into the brood area and you apply enough of them and you leave them long enough. The bees being in contact with these strips going to clean them up of the Varroa. They'll finish their, their fall flow. They'll have plenty of honey. And uh, these bees will actually be starting to be set on their own long about uh, mid-November or so. So we appreciate you watching until we see you again. 
roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.